as we find Poke. Uh. <sighs> Finds a man. America's team. And I'm not talking about the Cowboys. I'm talking about Kent State. Golden flashes. We them boys. We taking on a new series. Rebuilding the dynasty mode of Kent State. Golden flashes. This team needs help. Kent State finished at the bottom. The worst ranked team according to CBS Sports. At 1-11. Last place in the MAC. The Golden Flashes have got to get right. And King Sponge is going to take them there. What's more patriotic than football and what's more patriotic than an underdog story? One of the things that I noticed off the rip with Kent State is that they had so many seniors on this roster that next year is going to feel completely different for one, but two, in real life, the starting 11 offense all hit the portal. So uh, to reflect that in the game, because the roster here with the college football revamped isn't completely reflective of the portal and of what Kent State's current state looks like, I, at the very least, benched senior Colin Schley because he transferred out of there. I don't. I think he went to, like, Georgia or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not Georgia. I don't know. But he went somewhere. Not here. Receivers, there's only two on the roster that actually played. The rest of these guys, these seniors, all hit the portal. So I just put them down below in the, the depth chart so we don't get to see them on the field as often. Just wanted to quickly call that out because I'm trying to make this rebuild as realistic as I can, uh, you know, given the situation, the portal and everything's a mess, but that won't stop us from having a good time rebuilding the golden flashes. So my main strategy um, is to just at least start off by seeing who's interested in our school. I mean, we can go top 10, why not? Um, and then anyone that's interested, we just got a scout right off the rip, which I'm surprised a couple of four stars are already interested in our school probably at the allure of having playing time off the rip further we go down you know i'm gonna kind of start to ignore maybe some of these fifth place guys 77 overall corner and he's a four star with 96 speed we got bonus 320 points too what is he like what's he like he likes proximity to home we got that for you ohio here playing time a plus so the only thing we don't got for him is a championship contender team right now. It's the type of guy in the next game, you know, that might come to a Kent State to start, ball out, and transfer to, like, Ohio State or something nearby in Ohio. <laughs> so something to keep in mind for the next one. I don't even need to see much else, really. A uh, four-star athlete, you know, we'll find a place for him. Oh, yeah, that corner. We're finding some nice corners, which is a, a big need here on this team. And, man, I couldn't even get to see them all. There's so many good ones. 70 overall, 67 offense, 73 defense. You're looking at that correct. This is the reason they went 1-11. I mean, they're almost on par with an FCS team here, the Mountain Cats. So I say we jump in. We play this game, see how they can hold against the FCS Mountain Cats. we got to get the funding up, the sponsors, money coming in, five-star recruits. And boom, we can build and renovate a brand new spanking, spanking hot seat, uh, <laughs> spanking hot stadium. That would be sick. As Dave Williams, ain't got nothing on us here. All right, third and six, big play here, bringing some pressure. Yes, sir, blue, with the pick, starting the flash of season off on a high note. Turnover, that ball is coming our way. Capone, blue, I'm expecting big things out of you, man. Get the all-MAC team on your radar list. Number 12, making a play. Blue, not feeling so blue after that pick. In fact, he's probably a giddy man on the sidelines, running up and down, towel snapping everywhere. <laughs> huh? All right, I'm getting out of hand there. But uh, big play, and that's going to bring in the offense. Kargman, 67 freshman. It's, it's up to you. You find a man, Cephas. Oh, there goes that man for 37. Kargman in the flashes, looking to cash in. Mountain Cats see nightmares of Kargman running this ball in. Easy peasy. This looks like an option type play. Is It was, but a fake 
pass there and incomplete nonetheless third and goal yes that play moving Richardson over leads to some clamp job holding him to a field goal I mean <laughs> Mountain Cats did drive down the field on us that's discouraging but the defense holds and we'll take it a little play action anyone gonna spring open nope absolutely no one got open third and 15 most schools would try to hand it off, get better punting position, but we're not most schools. We are the flashes after all, and we're going to throw a pick. That's what most schools will not do. <laughs> pick six. Uh, maybe that's why most schools hand it off and try to punt. <laughs> maybe the halfback over there will. Yeah, he's way open, but I don't know if I got the arm to get it to him. Absolutely do not. There was a guy on my tail. I saw that. I just... Didn't think I had the juice. It's critical we stop these guys on third down right here. Honestly, that looks like a screen. I was there. I read it, but thankfully, my guy soaked up the blocker and let our other homie get in there and make the stop. That's going to hold him to a field goal. And we'll at least keep it a one possession game for now. On the return, springs it out. Wow, this is a big return. Massive job by Cooper <laughs> as he spins the wrong way. That's a that's a coaching. That's on me. That's on coach. I uh, forgot to teach him how to to spin it correctly at practice last week, and man, I that's my bad. But no, we get a, a little bit of room to run. Kargman doesn't go down. Heavy heavy traffic there and fumbles the ball. The Mountain Cats spring on top. This is looking disastrous. See what we can do here. Nope, couldn't make a play. Harris with a diving snag. Wow. Josh Rogers for six. Dave Williams to Rogers. Masterclass play right there. That was crazy. And as we see the replay, looking like a little bit like Mahomes out here with a sidearm slinging it. <laughs> Kargman, will you be the, the QB of the future for this Golden Flash team? Got out of bounds this time. Kargman's young. I might need to scout out the Juco guys, see if there's anyone ready to take the next step because the quarterback situation here is not ideal. You know, we don't we don't go all this way without walking out of here with something to show for it. So I'm going to I'm going to show for it. As <laughs> Leech Stone hands, had a man, straight drop. You're fired, you're cut. We're back to the scrambling drill. As I'm gonna take that, give it to Walker for a nice first down. As he cuts up the middle, looked awfully close to a touchdown to me. Wonderful stat line of a game. As he just walks in an easy touchdown. Xavier Williams puts us back in this game. Is that going to spring anyone open? Triangle. Uh-oh. That ball was like, actually, like, I don't even know what to say. That ball was not the direction I threw it. it the route had him going in to the midfield, and he throws it that direction. That way. This way to the DB. So I got hosed. This is some wild and wacky stuff, man. This is some wacky stuff, man. Couldn't stop him. Dave Williams leads his team down the field for a touchdown and two-point conversion. And just like that, we're down 17 with three minutes left. There was a guy open, but it was a little later than I liked. And there's just no one else to go to. Just takes a monster sack. Found a man down the sideline. Floria beat his dude. And gets a massive 58-yard snag. So we're alive on fourth down. It's Brewster forced to take over. Backup quarterback Brewster comes in, throws a ball. Touchdown, Floria. Brewster. Brewster the Rooster might be the guy as he gives the flashes a touchdown. We're just going to let the simulation see what they do with FCS. <laughs> 
Well, Kent State, dynasty season. Off to a bumpy start, to say the least. Um, here's a quarterback, you know. Um, yeah, 88 throw power. That's our future guy. I'm, I'm maxing out the points right there. Jared Silva, new number one target for us. We got to beat out Pitt, JMU, Purdue, Bobcats, and Troy. We got to beat these guys out. That's our new top target here. Sorry, Grimes. Give me your points back. Thanks, buddy. Uh, going up against the Bowling Green Falcons battle for the anniversary award. Little Ohio matchup. Um, we look to be the underdog on paper. So who will come out on top? The flashes show a glimpse of offense early. They're going for two touchdowns early. Bowling Green, can they respond? Down by 10. I am surprised how well Kent State's playing. Defensively, they're handling them, making the stops. And it looks like Kent State, honestly, is going to be getting out of here with a victory with time dwindling down. So golden flashes seem to be getting into the win column here in just moments. Kargman continues just looking like... He's not the man for the future. <laughs> um, but Williams having a great game. 35 carries, 164 yards, and a touchdown. He looks solid. And then Bunton, the sophomore receiver, soaking up some volume in the passing game. All right, Kent State taking out number four, LSU. I'm not even going to jump in and bother. We're going to go to the next week in sim, see what happens here. Uh, flashes pulling out the whites for this game. Maybe we rock the grays because we're going to be feeling gray after this beat down. So that's what we'll do. We'll simulate, see what happens down as expected, 49 to 25. 25, though, that's kind of encouraging on the offensive side of the things. Penn State's just a better team, better school. And we lose 30 to 7. Andre Hunter in a close one. Let's, let's get Perry Lemon also on the books for week six so where, as well as Jared Silva next game conference matchup against the Western Michigan Broncos let's simulate and see how our team does down again 30 to 7 to the Broncos that is a brutal loss so far the season is lining up to how we expected it to go um, almost in line with what happened in real life we need to jump in and take on the Northern Illinois Huskies. Close battle, but on paper, they're still a better team than us, so we're going to have to be fighting. I think we're going to rock the alternate unis with the bolt on the helmet, looking like a Chargers bolt. Maybe that'll inspire them to play some good football today because we're going to need them to show up like the Chargers. Somehow, okay, because there hasn't been many conference games, I'm like, somehow we're still in this, but look at the Mac, man. Everyone's kind of struggling. Anyone's division, really. But on the West, looks much more competitive. This guy's wide open up here. But I'm going for it. Yeah, user pick. I just got done complaining about the ints in this game, but he forces it to where my guy was going, and I snag a pick out of the air. Making Pierre look like a superhero out here. Rocky Lombardi throwing up a mistake. That one was a sure thing. As we find Poke. You gonna do me like that? What is going on? You gonna do me like that? You gonna do me like that? Throws a pick because the deflection or something. Swatting. I tried swatting. I tried hitting the swat button. Swat might not be a thing. And he ended up diving like an absolute buffoon. Oh my gosh. I think there wasn't swat in this game. Finds a man. Cargman, you're doing your absolute best to sell this team and make none of the prospects want to come over 
to our team. Do you want any good prospects? Do you want anyone? You're selling. You're selling the team. See if we can get anyone open here. There we go. Poke gets a big 27-yard snag. Let's get a big one here. There we go. Wide open. Holds on to the ball this time. Poke. First down. Trying to get his team down the field. Looking for something big. Oh, yeah. I see that. Can you come through? Bunton. Massive first down. I saw that develop in there. He had a step on his man. Sophomore, Naren Bunton. Steps up big in the secondary there. Making a great play over the defender. Snapped. Jumping. Xavier Williams with a one-yard touchdown. Very nice. Anyone open here? Yes, square. Running across is Bunton again. Getting some good separation. Okay, let's get back to the ground game. I think that's our next play. And Xavier Williams busts up the middle for a 12-yard run. Third and goal to the right. No block, though. Fourth and goal. I'm taking my field goal. Forget it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Couldn't get us there. Kargman bruised his shoulder. He's out for two quarters. Brewster, backup quarterback, finds a man over the middle. Walker with a big play. Let's get this offense hurrying up. Flag, PI, holding. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. Could not find the recipe. I'm going deep. Got a man. Burnt him. Bunton to the house for six. Hold on now. Bunton putting his team on his back. He says, get on there. And we are right back in this game. Hold on now. I was about ready to just say fooey. And I still am because no one's open. But Brewster, the rooster. Oh, what a run. Three yards for two points. Brewster, the rooster, making magic happen. We might have a contender for a second season, or second half of the season quarterback. Yep, they're passing it. I was kind of there, but not really, so GG's. <laughs> not quite enough, not quite good enough play to win the game for the Flashes. And the difficult season continues, and we need these recruits to come our way. So let's hope after this game, some of them decide to come to Kent State. Not necessarily because we're a great team, but because they believe they can make this team better. Yeah. This might hurt. This might hurt. This might be a rough week for our prospects. Oh, my gosh. No. They got, like, no points for visiting. Plus 50. No goals met either for the corners? You're joking, right? No, 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 no. There's a good chance we don't get many of these guys. Anyways, next up is Ball State. Let's sim this game and see who can come out on top. Down go the flashes again. It is hard to find things to be happy about. Only thing we can hope and dream for is a couple of these gem prospects come to Kent. So... We're, we're just having a hard time. That's going to do it for episode one, man. A lot of hardship, but as it was expected, Golden Flashes have no small feat of getting back. It's been a lot of fun. Nonetheless, uh, it's been entertaining and <laughs> a good time just seeing some of the craziness. So drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the support and love. So thank you so much, guys. And with that, have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Yee yee. Hope I'm on my way, I'm coming